is about streamlining my cooking time. So today I'm making two dishes that are both cooked on the stovetop at the same time in virtually the same amount of time. Fantastic, That's look right. at that, we're saving all this. I'm making it lamb chops, which are paidakia, okay. and oh. chickpea fritters, which are revito que ustedes. Uh-huh. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was gonna say that. Right, exactly. Uh, That's your cookbook, which was just re-released, right. come with translations in that. They actually, the cookbook does. Does it really? Yeah, I put everything written in Greek and written in English. There it is, that's the paperback Yay. copy of my cookbook, which is available for pre-order right now on Amazon.com. Yeah. And January 9th is when it's coming out. It's 15 new recipes, all my family's recipes again, and these happen to be two of my very favorites. So, so everything is in there. Everything right. is in there. So you guys dig in, feel oh, free to get yeah. in there. They're really delicious. They're also really good for you. This is a, a lighter sort of meal that I, I really like to make. Right. And you want to make something healthy for your family, but you also don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So first of all, you go to um, your local butcher and you get lamb chops. You want to get lamb chops that are rib chops. Make sure you know that because then they come these... They're like little single servings. Oh I really God. like them, just like okay. that. You're gonna marinate this with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and oregano. Oh you can put some garlic oh on there if you want and set that aside for just a few minutes. And I'm you're not gonna be heating up, no, dig in. You're gonna be heating up your um, cast okay. iron skillet because so you want it really hot. Isn't it great? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people think they don't like, like lamb. I think they just have never oh had no. lamb correctly. So you set that aside for a minute, then you make the chickpea fritters, which happen to be very good for you. So you just get a, a can of chickpeas, mm -hmm. you put it in a food processor, you drain it first, put it in the processor and make it into a paste like this. Then you're going to add some sauteed scallions that we've sauteed on the stovetop before, which is a little bit of olive oil, some very finely chopped mint. Oh, I love mint. Mm. Yeah. One beaten egg. It's going to be a nice binder. Some Parmesan cheese. Please don't ask me to help. No, I won't. No, please help yourself is yeah. what I'd like to say. Yeah. I have no idea this would be chickpeas. And some salt and pepper, I they were like right? Mm -hmm. or something. Could no. you use pecorino instead of? Of course, pepper? you absolutely could. You probably use a little less salt then okay. because you don't want it to get over salty. So, and then you're going to mix this together. Now, you could make this for um, if you're fasting for Lent or something and just not put in the egg. Ooh, wow. You know, and maybe put in some uh, vegan cheese or no cheese at all. They do that a lot in Greece. So you're going to make this into a nice, there you go, into a nice paste. And then you're just going to make them into fritters. Like this. They're oh. nice and crispy. Yes, you can it's make them crispier like or less crispy. Pancake. Exactly. It's almost like a latka. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Isn't it? Okay, then you're going to dredge it in some, <laughs> some flour both sides. Is that the part we you dredge doing? I do. I dredge doing I the dredging. Dredge doing you put a little. <laughs> Thank you. You put a little bit of salt in there as well. Then you're just gonna drop it. You in didn't a have skillet. to laugh. You right. know. <laughs> just like that, with a little bit of olive oil in it already, and you're gonna just let those be for about. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. For about three to four minutes. You really don't want to flip them. For like, because if you start flipping them and messing with them, they'll break. So mm. leave it three minutes and then flip it. Very simple. We have a few here. I'll drop on over here as well. I have a well. question. Yes. The lemon is it for the fritters oh, or for the both. lamb chops? I love that you asked. S try squeezing on both. Oh, okay. Yeah, fritters, and see which it's one. It's really good on the fritters. And there's tzatziki there with you as well for the lamb yes. chops and the fritters as well. Right. Now tzatziki is like the ketchup of Greece. You can put it on pretty much anything. It's very good for you. It's Greek yogurt, uh, dill, mm. some garlic and uh, cucumber, and that's it, it's really great. Okay, so now we have our lamb chops. As you can see, this is really sizzling hot, and that's really how you want it. The lemon on the oh my God, the lemon on the lamb chops. Right? I've never had that. it's so that's good. That's how we eat it in Greece. You put the lemon on lamb chops, it's the beautiful. The makes it so good. Right. It's a whole thing. So then you drop it on here, um, and you let the meat, again, you just let it be oh until it releases itself. Three to four minutes on each side, and then it's going to be ready to go. And then if you take it off and you want something extra besides the lemon and the tzatziki, you could um, mix Why? together some <laughs> olive oil and some rosemary and some garlic, shake it up, and then use that as a nice little dipping sauce as well. You guys and there you have it, it ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. That's it. Just good. when you thought it couldn't like, get any better. Oh. So I feel like for everyone like who is trying to like work out for the new year, I feel like this is a great post-workout meal because it's so high in protein. Mm -hmm. so, it's so true. Meat. Exactly. And it really it covers all bases. Mm -hmm. If you have meat eaters in your home and non-meat eaters, this is the way to do it because then they can have the chickpea fritters. Oh, and you know I said earlier how much I love photography. I love love the photography in your cookbook. Oh, thank you. That's, my husband oh, took those pictures. Well, then I love those John. Are my husband's look at pictures. Look at yes. some of these pictures. Take what are we looking at? That's at a spice market in Athens. It's one of the biggest spice markets mm. in Greece, by the way. It's an amazing place. When I went in there, the man who um, owns the spice market also made jerky and I didn't want to insult him, so I ate the jerky he offered me, which was camel jerky. 
Oh, no. Interesting. I okay. would not try that again. Thank what's, you very much. What's this other? <laughs> do you have another picture? I think there's this one of a, uh, the bakers. The bakery. Yeah. Yes, there's a beautiful bakery photo. That's an oldest bakery in Athens. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It um, has been passed down through the generations of this family. And there is the dough maker in the back. There's a big machine. It's 120 years old. And the man who owns that says that's his good luck charm. And, and that's why he thinks the bakery has been so successful and he won't get a new dough maker. Edson. Well, you tend to those. Oh, you guys I forgot. Are, all I'm talking about. A chance to win a copy of Debbie's cookbook is waiting for you by visiting our Facebook page and make sure to follow her on her Instagram and other uh, for another chance to win on, yeah. on your Instagram. I'm giving I'm giving books away on our Facebook page and on my Instagram.